We begin today with Smokey committing a home invasion. Craig was too busy counting sleep, so he better hope that Smokey ain't all wet anymore. Smokey has the night vision of a spider, so he ends up tripping on the trap basketball Craig keeps by the foot of his bed. While he may be a heavy sleeper, Craig is a master tactician. Craig might also be a yoke master because he starts whooping Smokey's ass like Mario Yamasaki was reffing. Pops, voiced by Bender, runs in because he's not missing out on a justifiable. Even after the lights come on, Pops is testing the limits on the castle doctrine. Craig and Smokey inform Pops that his dick is about to fall out. I was gonna make a joke about that, but I wanted y'all to hear the disdain in my voice when I said that. I called this the worst TV show ever in my first video about it, and I have a feeling I'm gonna be saying the same thing by the end of this episode. Pops is off, probably to go get the heater. Smokey reminds Craig that it's April 20th, you know, 420. Assuming we all know nothing of 420, let's check Urban Dictionary. Well, alright then, let's move on. It's 415 and they only got 5 minutes left if they're gonna celebrate the holiday the right way. Craig tells Smokey that he's recently became a man and put childish ways behind him by getting a job. The caricature of Smokey exclaims in disgust when he hears Craig's sudden prioritizing of being a grown ass man. <laughs> Smokey tells him to grow up on his own time. It's 420, dog. Craig says, and I have to play the audio so I can emphasize that I'm not the one saying this bull. It's the show. I'd love to trim some with you, bro, but I can't do it. What the hell does that mean? What word was censored there? Smokey tries to guilt trip Craig by talking about the time he comforted him after his girl dumped him. Normal friend activities, but okay. Craig reminds him that a week later he tried to holler at her. Also, normal friend activities stay woke. Smokey is crying about how lonely he is or something I don't care about. And Craig tells him to grow up and quit acting like a female. By the way, Craig is Cyborg from Teen Titans and Smokey Smokey is Samurai Jack. Who funded this chicanery? Smokey falls out of Craig's attic bedroom and he's either concussed or he took an edible because he starts talking to the ghost of weed smoking future. It's actually just Smokey at 40. He must have made a spliff time machine. He wants to take present Smokey on an Ebenezer Scrooge. Present Smokey wants to go on a journey through Jessica Alba's underwear drawer instead. Okay. Smokey takes Smokey to Smokey's elementary school. The school's bouncer brings Smokey into to class and he's just a little smoke. We actually find out Smokey's real name is Clarence. Lame ass. According to the security guard, Clarence might be a little slow. Present Smokey gawks at his old teacher and says he thinks about her when he punches his clown. Future Smokey does the same when he takes his pills. I want to punch the clown that wrote this show. The teacher calls on Debo to go to the blackboard and he doesn't want to go up because he has a boner. Riveting. No, scientifically as joinus erectus. Debo ends up using Clarence as a plunger for roasting him for his plunger. Craig tries to tell Debo that Clarence has had enough, so Debo uses him for a toilet brush. As they get back to Craig's house, Pops pops out of his truck because, can you guess what? He has to take a shit. So Clarence decides to joyride Pop's car as though he didn't meet Craig hours ago. He ends up just crashing all through the house and reveals Pop's popping out a, well, you get it. Craig gets in trouble for that. Pop's ends up in the newspaper for that somehow. We cut back to the present with Phil Lamar doing a pinky impersonation talking to Craig. Then Uncle Elroy comes in, voiced by Phil Lamar. Then future and present Clarence comes in, voiced by Phil Lamar. I feel like I'm about to lose my mind. Craig talks about how he was going to play in the NFL, but he couldn't because of Smokey. The Clarences end up going back in time to relive the past, kind of like making an animated series about a movie years after the last movie came out with none of the original voice actors. Speaking of not original, here's Big Mary when she was just Mary. That's all I feel like mentioning of her for now. Craig comes out ready for the Friday Night Lights. Smokey reminds them that they're doo-doo butter and their last two games, they lost to the School of Performing Arts and the School of the Deaf. Craig is scared because if they lost to Handicap High, they're going to be the laughing stock of the city. All Craig needs 
needs is some practice. Clarence asks Craig if he thinks Ricky Williams and Michael Irvin practice. I'm wondering if the writer of this show practice. They just end up sitting here on the porch all night doing nothing. To quote myself, lame ass. Pops comes home and congratulates Craig on winning the game. Craig is all sad because he didn't go to the game. Smokey did this bum ass man a favor. He was not going to the league. Phil Le Elroy offers Craig ownership in a chicken shop. He accepts. Now, ominous future Clarence tells his younger counterpart that he needs to save Craig from his future. They arrive in said future in Rancho Cucamonga? Cucamonga. Cucamonga. Rancho Cucamonga. Craig's hairline is in a state of disrepair and he has some badass kids. Craig also has this Caucasian concubine that used to be a stripper who just roast him for having a little penis. We gonna have to make some changes around here. Yeah, like you get a bigger Turns out she used to be the head dancer at Booty Q's. The store Phil Elroy was going to build with Craig. And yo is small. See you tonight, honey. Smokey wakes up and Ezel is running his pockets. The only thing Smokey asks is, what time is it? It's only four o'clock, so Clarence has time. Smokey runs up on Pops and tells him that, I was just down at your brother Elroy's rib joint. Is it true that Okay. okay, Pops goes racing off. Big Mary is ordering food and that's all I'll say about that. Pops pulls up outside and just starts unleashing random dogs out the back of his dog catcher truck. The dogs start tearing the club up and Craig quits instead of cleaning up, which is real. Real bummy, but real. Craig goes back to sitting on the porch in this sweet ass PS2 NCAA 07 Reggie Bush jersey. Right at that moment, it's 419 and Smokey asks Craig if he has a minute.